Yes. Welcome again to this channel. Thank you so much because of the great support that you have continued to offer into this channel. So today, I have decided to prepare this analysis of three politicians of, in this country. That is Martha Karua, Kalonzo Msioka, and Moses Kuria. You know Moses Kuria is coming from Mount Kenya region. Mata Karua also is coming from Mount Kenya region. But you see when it comes to Moses Kuria, is coming from Kiambu County. Then Mata Karua is coming from Kirinyaga County. When it comes to Kalonzo Msioka, is coming from Ukambani region. I think specifically Machakos County. What now I have understood about the politics of three, these three politicians is like this politics of 2022, this 9th August election. It seems like confusing them when it comes to their decision making. Because so far, when it comes to joining, it is not an automatically or it is not a force to force someone to join certain alliance. But the truth to be said, <laughs> these three politicians has been on a limelight when it comes to uh, fighting any alliance that has been formed politically speaking this country. When it comes to Moses Kuria, even the other day while in NTV interview, Moses Kuria came out very clearly that he is not going to work with a Kenya Kwanza or is not going also to work with Azimio Laumoja. So Kenyans, politically speaking, when it comes to the politics of Moses Kuria, now it seems like he is confused. Even if even though he has his turn in politics, but sincerely speaking, Kenyans, Moses Kuria is a confused person. Why am I saying this? Because the other time, you will listen to Moses Kuria was singing the UDA Brigade before giving a momentum of his party that is Chama Chakazi. And you remember even in Georgia by election in Kiambu County, a Moses Kuria stepped down for the UDA candidate. I mean, because he was having his party, Chama Chakazi, he did not give, not Georgia, Kiamba, Kiamba constituency. And the issue was that now Moses Kuria had stepped down for the UDA party in, Kia, in Kiamba County constituency to give an UDA candidate, that is Kawanjiku, to win this the, the, the by-election. And remember Moses Kuria's politics was uh, uh, rhyming with William Samuruto's politics. But certainly Kenyans, you can bear me witness, Moses come the other time, now starting to fight Kenya Kwanza Alliance, specifically UDA party. And you listen to Moses Kuria the other time also saying that he was not going to defend his seat, that is for Gatundu South constituency. Neither is he going to vie for any seat in, in, in Kiambu County. But now, I think last week, Moses Kuria has come again. Now he's vying for the gubernatorial seat of Kiambu County. Are you seeing this scenario of Moses Kuria? Is going with the scenario also of Mata Karua? Mata Karua has not declared any side that he's going to support. Because when it comes to the politics of Kenya Kwanza, Mata Karua is not there. When it comes also to the politics of Azimio Moja, Mata Karua is not there. When it comes also to one Kenya alliance, 
Martha Karua is distancing herself with the politics of one Kenya. Yes. Kenyans, what you must understand with Martha Karua is, is the leader of um, NAC Kenya. But now, the other time you could listen that Martha Karua was saying that she was going to vie for the gubernatorial of, uh, of Kirinyaga County. But again, at a certain point, she came like she was cool now. Seems like she was now searching for to be a running mate for either side, maybe Kenya Kwanza or Azimio. But the way things were not seemingly uh, going on her side, now Martha Karua declared that she was going to vie for the gubernatorial seat of, of Kirinyaga County. Again, this scenario of Moses Kuri and Martha Karua, Kalonzo Msioka is having it. But what you must understand, Kenyans, is that Kalonzo Msioka is a person to decide yes, but is wasting a lot of time. What I've said when I started recording this video is that no one is forced to join a certain political outfit. You can either join Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, that is your right, you can join either Azimilo Moja, that is your right. You can either remain in one Kenya lands, that is your right. But the question that Kenyans has been asking themselves when it comes to this politics of Moses Kuria, Mata Karua, Kalonzo Msioka, where is their actual stand when it comes to this politics of 2022? Because in a real sense, it seems that they lack they like both sides. When it comes to Kenya Kwanza, Moses Kuria love Kenya Kwanza Alliance because of that good friendship with the William Ruto. When it comes to the Azimio, you know Moses Kuria is not having a grudge with any leader. He's having friendship in Azimio La Umoja. When it comes to Oka now, he's having friends there. People like Lonzo Msioka, Gideon Moy, and all the brigade. So, when it comes to the decision making, it's like giving Moses Kuria a dilemma. To which side is he going to support or is he going to, to sing their song? Now, when it comes to Mata Karua, Mata Karua also is a person when it comes to politics, is not a politician that has grudges with their fellow leaders. But now, when it comes to joining any political outfit or alliance, when it comes to Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, Mata Karua can join Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. But the truth of the matter is, it seems like the ideologies of Mata Karua is not rhyming with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. But the truth to be said, Mata Karua, there is a possibility of joining Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. But when it comes to Azimio La Umoja also, there is a possibility of Mata Karua joining Azimio La Umoja. When it comes also in one Kenya lands, Mata Karua is one, in one Kenya lands, but she is trying to distance herself in, with the, the politics of uh, Kenya Kwanzaa lands. So when it comes to Kenya Kwanzaa, there's possibility. When it comes to Azimio, there's possibility. And one Kenya lands, there's possibility. So when it comes to making decision, Mata Karua is having same same dilemma with Moses Kuria. When it comes to Kalonzo Msioka also, there is a possibility of Kalonzo Msioka working with Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And also there is a possibility and a big percentage possibility of Kalonzo Msioka working with Azimio La Umoja. But the truth to be said now, when it comes to this politics of 2022, the reality that we don't know is that where is Kalonzo Msioka going to decide to go? Because so far, the election is coming near and nominations are going to start very soon. And you know that Azimio now is going to sign, sign the agreement and they're going to, uh, to hold their ANDC to, uh, to, prove, to approve the candidature of Raila Amolo Dinga as the presidential candidate. But now Kalonzo Msioka has not yet decided which side to go. And now Kalonzo Msioka is not running for any seat in, uh, in this country. So it seems like Kalonzo Msioka was looking forward to be a running mate of a certain candidate. So when it comes to the Kenya Kwanzaa, the presidential candidate is William Samuel Ruto. The running mate has been 
the running mate have been reserved for the Mount Kenya region. The way Rigadi Gashago was claiming the other day. When it comes to uh, Azimula Umoja, now Raila Moludinga is the preferred presidential candidate in Azimula Umoja. When it comes to the running mate, the running mate has been reserved for the Mount Kenya region. So where is Kalonzo Mishoka? At least it seems like maybe Martha Karua can be given the mantle of running mate. But the truth to be said now, Martha Karua has not yet declared which side she's gonna support. So Kenyans are using these politicians, three politicians specifically, though there are more also that are confused. But the confused politician in this 2022 election, they are mostly Moses Kuria, Martha Karua, and Kalonzo Msioka. So the advice that I could have given them, if I could have been close friend of them, I could have given them advice that this time is running out. Because Oka cannot make it alone. It is now time to join either side, or Kenya Kwanza, Azimio, or remain in one Kenya lands, then commit political suicide. So that is the reason why you see these politicians are having dilemma. Because the, when it comes to supporting either side, they're not there. So otherwise, thank you so much because of watching me. Thank you, God bless you so much. I'm humbled because of your great support, because of your love. If you're a, a visitor, ensure that you subscribe. You turn on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. Otherwise, for those who are returning, returning subscribers, I request you continue liking the video, comment and share these videos. I appreciate for your great support for whatever you have continued to do in this channel. In this channel, we analyze pure politics, we give our opinions, we give our reasons according to the way we understand politics. Otherwise, Kenyans, I think uh, I'm going to have a four days break uh, because of an avoidance and uh, circumstances, but I will be back after four days. So, continue supporting me, continue sharing my videos, and I believe that everything is possible. Otherwise, thank you, God bless you. Till next time, bye-bye.